Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. Mitchell Rance from Chat Sports, ready to walk you guys through the latest news and rumors going on around the silver and black. Now, obviously, the Raiders don't play today on Sunday. They have a big-time game up against the Cleveland Browns, 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, which I'm going to be live for doing a watch party. So I figured, why not talk about the latest news and rumors going on right now? And at the very end of today's show, I'm also going to be breaking down the latest NFL playoff picture. So an important thing to note, the Raiders will start interviewing head coaches December 28th because the new NFL rule is that, well, teams that are looking for a new head coach, they can go ahead and do that. And one of the newest rumors around the Raiders right now is actually kind of impacting this a little bit. So if you watch Saturday Night Football, you saw the Indianapolis Colts win 27-17 up against the New England Patriots. And one of the new rumors starting to pop out there is that, hey, could Matt Eberflus, defensive coordinator of Indianapolis, be in the running to be the next head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. FanDuel ended up writing an article, and I've seen some odds out there starting to put Eberflus pretty high. One of the guys I respect on Instagram, shout out to my man Scout, he said Eberflus is probably the top guy right now. So if you're looking for a defensive-minded coach, this would be a good hire. Eberflus to me is one of the younger, smarter, defensive-minded dudes in the National Football League. And if you are looking for somebody that you're trying to really, truly build that defense, that's good. And then even last season, he was one of the guys in a lot, a lot of the top coaching candidates out there. So you guys let me know, would you be happy if the Raiders went out and hired Matt Eberflus? I want you to go down in the comments section right now, type Y for yes, or I want you to go ahead and type your N for no. Would you be happy if the Raiders hired Colts defensive coordinator Matt Eberflus? I'm just going to be 100% because that's what I try to do here on this show always. My answer is not really, but I think he's a good coach. But wait, Mitch, why would you say not really if you think he's a good coach? I'm going to be breaking all of that down for you here in a sec, like around the top five reasons why I think it would be a good hire. And then I'm going to tell you why I think it would be a bad hire. In terms of it being a good hire, he wants to be a head coach. Believe it or not, I want somebody that is like has their mindset on big goals and has their mindset on being a head coach in the National Football League. He's a highly respected defensive mind. I couldn't tell you the last time the Raiders had a top 10 defense. I had a glimpse of that this season with Gus Bradley. However, over the past few games, we haven't seen that. The Colts, they have a top 10 defense, and it's not littered with a whole bunch of big-name guys. They got Darius Leonard, DeForest Buckner, and really outside of that, I think he's done a phenomenal job. And plus, on top of that, he is a great player coach and a great leader. The Raiders need somebody like this to help them when they get into those tough situations, Matt Eberflush would do that. In terms of being a bad hire, I want an offensive-minded head coach. The NFL is an offensive-driven league. Did Tampa Bay last season win with a great defensive performance? Yes, but Bruce Arians, head coach, is also an offensive-minded guy. And I'm not saying that I don't like Gus Bradley, but Matt Eberflush to me would remind me a lot of Gus Bradley where I respect Bradley's ability to be a defensive coordinator. I really think Eberflus is a great defensive mind. I just get a little bit worried that he's not going to be a good head coach and be a good DC. Plus, the offense is one of the biggest issues right now for the Raiders. And I would be worried if you bring in a defensive mind that that's going to be a major issue. Now, I will go on record in saying this. The only way I would be okay if you go out and bring in Eberflus is if your plan then is to keep Derek Carr because Derek Carr knows the Raiders offense he knows the players around that and he's kind of like that player coach so if you're worried about the offense keep Derek Carr for one more year let him finish out his contract at 19.9 but if your plan is to bring in Eberflus and then also potentially draft a quarterback or not sign somebody named Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers I really think you're setting up your offense for a disaster, which is something that I'm sorry, I do not want to happen. Now, I made a Raiders head coach candidates video last week, and we're going to continue to break down videos around Las Vegas, and if they decide to say, hey, we're going to go out and hire Eberflus, or hey, we're going to go out and hire somebody else, we're going to be making a live video, I can guarantee you that. Also, on top of that, we're 389 subscribers away from 100,000. We're going to hit 100,000 tomorrow during our watch party and it's going to be a lot of fun i'm excited at all the hard work that we've put in here at this channel i don't know how we're going to celebrate yet but if you want to join the number one most watched raiders channel on youtube all i ask is they hit that subscribe button now the next thing coming up here is around wait urban meyer mitch why the heck are we talking about urban meyer getting fired from the jacksonville jaguars the reason is this 
Before Urban got fired, I could easily sit up here, look into the camera and say, the number one most coveted job for somebody trying to get a new head coaching gig was the Las Vegas Raiders. I still, if I was the head coach, would still rather go to Las Vegas than Jacksonville. The only reason why this might be a little bit different now, you have Trevor Lawrence, quarterback, who, sorry, Trevor Lawrence is going to be a good quarterback in this league. And now the fact that Jacksonville lost to the Houston Texans, the fact that the Detroit Lions beat the Arizona Cardinals, guess who has the number one overall pick this year? The Jacksonville Jaguars. So now not only do you have Trevor Lawrence, you have the number one overall pick. So could you make the could you make the decision of being like, you know what, maybe Jacksonville's the better gig right now. So even though Urban has nothing to do with the Raiders, and if I get one person that asks me, Mitch, should the Raiders hire Urban Meyer, I'm going to go absolutely nuts. But here's the question that I'm getting to. What's the better head coaching job right now? Because you're going to be going out, you're going to be looking at guys like Brian Dable, Kellen Moore, Eric Bieniemy, and now if Eberflus is in that category of top echelon type of dudes, would they rather take Jacksonville or would they go with Raiders? So type LV for Las Vegas or I want you to type JAC for the Jacksonville Jaguars, which is the better head coaching job. All right, guys, coming up right now, we're going to get into this Raiders versus Browns preview. And it's not too much getting into the, the game itself for the simple fact of there's still so many players that I'm actually not 100% sure whether or not they are going to play in this game due to COVID. But the last time that I checked, the Raiders were now three-point underdogs. And if you want to talk about a line that moves, the Browns, when this thing opened up, six-and-a-half-point favorites. Then it went to six-point favorites. Then it went down to three points. Then it went to minus one. Then the Raiders were one-point favorites. Then now it's back to minus three. The lines have been moving up and down, up and down. All I know is this, I am betting the under in this game. So with this being said, we're going to get into some injuries here in a little bit around Las Vegas. But what I want you to do right now is go down to the comments, predict the score. Las Vegas Raiders on the road, NFL Week 15 up against the Cleveland Browns. Now, if you're sitting here saying like, Mitch, the Raiders are going to win this game. Okay, I'm never going to hate on y'all for betting on the Raiders. It's just, it's very hard to bet on them. But I did say this, I will bet on every single Raiders game. I'm just betting the under in this one. So if you want to bet on Las Vegas to beat Cleveland, you can go ahead and do so. If you want to bet on them doing the under, if you want to bet on, I don't care, any NFL game the rest of the season, college football mania, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders. Promo code Raiders125. It's going to get you a 125% deposit bonus. Imagine a world where you put down $100. You get $125 for free to bet with. It's the best deal on the internet for no Chucky heads. Believe it, baby. All right, let's talk about some key injuries here around the silver and black. Darren Waller, Denzel Perriman, Trevon Mullen. They were rolled out on Friday. That was with the game happening on Saturday. Now I was hoping, like fingers crossed, like all right, maybe the fact that the game got pushed back these three guys would be able to go. Unfortunately, they are not going to be able to play in this game. Other injuries to be able to keep you guys up to date on, Carl Nassib, uh, Patrick Awanasar, and then that's a picture of Foster Moreau. I know what it says, but Foster is going to be able to play. Patrick Awanasar is going to be able to play. And then Carl Nassib, he seems like he's going to be a game-time decision. In terms of what can you expect from the Browns, here's what the Raiders' website had to say. Currently, Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski Acting running backs coach Ryan Cordell and offensive assistant McCainy, is that how I say it? I can't read it. McCartney are positive for COVID-19. If they are unable to coach on Monday, then the Browns special teams coordinator Mike Prefira, head coach, and senior offensive assistant Kevin Rogers, running backs, will handle game day responsibilities for coaches unable to attend. So even though the Browns are going to get some of their players back like a Wyatt Teller, which is going to be a major help, they're still going to be missing their head coach, which all Raider fans know this season can, well, <laughs> kind of hurt your on-field production. Now, in terms of the AFC playoff picture as it stands right now, with the Chiefs winning on Thursday night over the Los Angeles Chargers, they are now the number one seed because the New England Patriots lost. The Tennessee Titans, they ended up losing. Now, the Indianapolis Colts, they won. They're the five seed. Chargers won. They're the six seed. Bills, what you see in the wild card is eight and six. I've been saying for a long time, the Raiders really need to wake the hell up and they got to start winning some games. If they want a chance to make the playoffs, they need to win out. So if they lose this week, they might not mathematically be done, but it's definitely not going to be very positive. In terms of some of the games that are going on right now, Cincinnati, as I am making this video, they are up 6-3 to three at halftime 
over the Denver Broncos. Both teams sitting out with a 7-6 and six record. The Green Bay Packers, they actually just tied it up with the Baltimore Ravens, 14-14 to 14 right before halftime. And then another game doesn't really impact this, but I know you guys hate the 49ers. They are winning 17-10 to 10 over the Atlanta Falcons. Now, after seeing all the teams that won today, seeing the teams that won on Saturday, and seeing the upcoming schedule for the Raiders, what percent chance are you giving the Raiders to make the playoffs from a scale from zero all the way up to 100? I love this team, and I always try to kick it with you guys real. I'm going to give them about a 1% chance. I don't really see them winning too many more games, especially because of how bad they have played. They've been a bottom five NFL team over the past five weeks. Five and One and five record, bottom five offense, bottom five defense. Now, if they can beat this team... Maybe they can get their mojo going. Maybe they can finish out the season strong. But let me know down in the comments what percent chance are you giving the Raiders to make the playoffs, and it all starts tomorrow. And we're going to be live for a watch party starting 10 minutes before kickoff. So for everyone there, it's going to be 4.50 p.m. Eastern time. Come join the Raiders report. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss tomorrow's show.